I have a lot of thoughts about Animal Crossing villagers and I want to monetize them. We have many, many tiers this time. Jail, which I think is pretty self-explanatory. They exist. I really love garlic bread. But you know what I love more than garlic bread? My subscribers. We have Alfonso. I love Alfonso. Shout out to the Animal Crossing movie. He was one of the main characters. Definitely a friend. Ali is an icon. She is for the gays. She is a top tier villager in my opinion. Don't fight me. I don't care. Boots is fun. He's definitely clown core with that outfit he starts off with which I feel like is very much my aesthetic I don't know he kind of just exists for me he's a great villager Del is a bow I can't think of anything else to say about him any villager that's disguised to be another animal automatically is top tier for me I love garlic bread I love Drago Gail is gay and for that reason she's automatically in the garlic bread tier Roswell reminds me of a shiny crock rock and also marble cake so for that reason he's definitely a friend Sly Annabelle's fun. She kind of just exists for me, but like, go off. I'm kind of afraid of Annalisa. I feel like she would beat my ass if I ever did her dirty. And for that reason, she is a friend. One of the only jock villagers, in my opinion, that deserves rights. I'm putting him in the garlic bread tier. Cyrano is another villager from the movie, but honestly, he had like only two lines because he's that forgettable. That's just where he deserves to be. Next up, we have this stupid bitch. He doesn't have talent. He doesn't have the looks, but you know what he has? The audacity to look like that and the audacity to come for anybody who looks like me. Olaf thinks he's cool when in reality he is nothing but scum. Fuck you. Go to jail. Pango, Pongo, however the fuck you say her name. She's annoying as hell too. I don't think she deserves to suffer in jail, but I don't think she deserves rights. So for that reason, she's definitely on the lower end of this ranking as well. Snooty is someone who whines when things don't go her way. She smells like corn chips. Go to jail. Zoe, she's definitely a robot created by an evil organization. I think if I had the power to, I would still try to steal her rights from her. Why does he look like that? And the fact that he is canonically confirmed to have pubes, he deserves to go to jail. Paula reminds me of Dina from Superstore. She would definitely fight a homophobe for me. She's probably gay herself, so I feel like that adds to the motivation. And I feel like she's definitely a friend. I've had Chow in the past. He's done nothing dirty to me. He's all right, he's cool. But if you do him dirty, he'll definitely beat your ass. I can respect that. He is a friend to me. Kurtz, all right. He's one of those villagers that just exists. I do respect him anyways, so he definitely exists in a good way. Smash, I mean S tier. He's, he, yeah, yeah. If you look like Grizzly, and, and you're human. Um, you think Groucho would be like a villager I like because he's blue and I love blue. He is a bear and I love bears. I honestly forget about it. Are there Groucho stands? Do Groucho stands exist? I, I don't really care about him, honestly. Like, congrats for being alive, but like, you're not really serving much of anything. Ike is definitely a cool villager. And honestly, Ike is a friend. Go to fucking jail. The fact that New Horizons had only eight villagers at launch that were brand new and Megan was kind of just the one that nobody really cares about. I feel really Really bad but like honestly at the same time she reminds me too much of a care bear she's definitely murdered somebody like Megan really is the definition of just being there I do really like Nate I love his design he's adorable I honestly do like the eyebrows Nate's a friend if Carol Baskin was an Animal Crossing villager and Carol Baskin did kill her husband so Paula go to jail cool I don't know I don't really have anything else to say about her Teddy I would say ever since New Horizons has become my favorite jock villager Teddy is 100% subscribed to Angry Coconut Tutu is great. She's definitely serving e-girl with that little like pink smudge on her nose. And for that reason, she's pretty cool, I guess. But like at the same time, I don't know. She's just a meh villager to me. Her bangs are definitely a choice, but I respect the choice. You know, sometimes in life you have to be unique. Sometimes you have to do things that'll make you stand out. Those bangs definitely make Ursula memorable. Not for the right reasons, but good enough reasons. Cause I mean, honestly, she's definitely a friend. She's definitely somebody that I can trust. I don't like Ace simply for the fact that his catchphrase is ace. Either it's your name or your catchphrase. It can't be both. Just for that reason, go to jail. You're so fucking annoying. He has a punchable face. You know, like he's, he's dead. Anchovy is a fucking snitch. He literally looks like the kids that I went to school with in elementary. If you step onto the grass during a tarmac only recess because somebody pushed you, he would be the one to yell at the teacher being like, that kid's on the grass, get him to detention right now. His parents probably don't love him. That's why he looks like that. Honestly, he doesn't deserve rights for that reason. <laughs> 
Jacques is the stoner of the Animal Crossing villager group. I feel like he's definitely seen some things and he probably has the most creative brain out of anybody. I feel like he definitely makes the type of music that like transcends you into an alternate realm. You know, very like Tame Impala. He probably smells like garlic bread too, let's be honest. Jay's cool. We love Blue Jay's. He's not modeled after a Blue Jay because Blue Jay's don't have red. I have nothing else to say about him. Jitters needs help. He needs psychological help. I'm gonna temporarily take away his rights until he seeks mental help. I'm not afraid of you, I'm afraid for you. Lucha has definitely had previous assault charges in his life. He wears that mask 24 seven. He always thinks he's in the boxing ring, jail. Fuck you, Lucha. Um, Mitch, she's pretty, I guess. Like, I don't know, go off. Like, <laughs> Peck definitely is a friend. Like, that's kind of controversial because this entire time he's been my enemy, but I feel like he's my friend. He's like the friend that you just want to punch in the face every day. This man loves to run his mouth and talk shit about everybody, but like, he's a mess in like the best way possible. This is going to be very controversial and very surprising, but like, Peck is garlic bread tier to me. And the fact that he's just able to cause so much drama is something that I can respect. Piper's... <laughs> Robin is Jay's cooler auntie. She's definitely a friend. She lets you drink, but like she takes care of you. She makes sure you don't get too sloppy. Sparrow, on the other hand, looks like he's definitely seen some shit as well. I, I do feel sorry for him. Like he just looks like he's been through so much in life. And even though he does exist, he exists perfectly fine. He's just a perfectly fine villager. I feel like she would definitely fight you if you steal her juice box. So for that reason, she's going to jail. Ink's songs of perfect snogging is the epitome of Guy Fieri. And for that reason, I love him. He is a friend. He definitely makes good good burgers despite being a cow. Coach, he looks like the fungus that grows in your armpit. He is so stinky that he deserves to go to jail for it. It's probably a crime that deserves punishment. You know what? Like I love the red eyes. I love like the color scheme in general. He's definitely that tough dude with the soft heart. And honestly, like he looks scary. He looks weird. I love that about him. And I feel like me and Rodeo would be best friends. Stu is a villager. T-Bone is another villager. Sma I mean, if he was fucking human, why did they have to give him blue eyes? If he was human, smash. I mean, S tier. Like, why is everybody in the S tier smashable? Despite previous things that have happened with Anka, Anka is definitely elite. S tier. Controversial opinion, despite Bob being a fan fave, I don't really care about him. Is like, am I allowed to say that? What else are you serving aside from the fact that you're popular? I understand the hype. I think I just like him and I acknowledge his existence because he's popular. And for that reason, he's nothing more than a fan favorite to me. Felicity is definitely that girl in high school who looks innocent, but at the same time, I feel like she can fight. I feel like we would be friends. Kabuki is definitely like a really cool design. I think he's definitely one of the higher rated cranky villagers in my opinion. He's definitely got a soft heart. I feel like Kabuki is a friend. Cat is a villager that honestly is a baddie. And I feel like we don't talk about that enough. Euphoria vibes, but like in the right way. She, in my opinion, is garlic bread tier. It's true. And if you disagree, I don't care. Kit Kat is cool. He's the first of the superhero villagers and he is like the superhero that's like not annoying. Like he is a man with privilege and I think he's aware of his privilege. And I feel like he would definitely be a friend. Do we need to argue? She's definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. She's definitely a top tier villager. Sometimes the base designs can do a lot. Kitty is an example of a basic design that does nothing for her. Like she literally looks like a hand. She's just there and like I don't care about her. Lolly's fun. Lolly's cute. She doesn't really serve anything other than that. I understand why people love her. I just personally don't. I'm putting her in the work fan favorite tier. She is a queen. She is a legend. She is the moment. I feel like the two of us could definitely chow down on some garlic bread. I really like Mitzi. Not just the fact that she's blue, but like she reminds me of a kid's cartoon in like the best way way possible. Mitzi, in my opinion, is a top tier villager. I feel like she's a bit too underrated and that's not fair. We've had this discussion many, many times on the channel. He is the epitome of a big toe. He looks like this. He kind of just exists for me. Monique is the epitome of Yas and Olivia, who's after her, is the epitome of Slay. They are the definition of iconic. Both of them are S tier. It's, it, it has to be said, like, I don't care if y'all disagree. I think Punchy is like the 
only guy cat that I really like, but I don't love Punchy. I understand if he's your favorite villager, but it's just like, <laughs> he doesn't really do it for me. But like at the same time, he does do it for me. I don't know, it's very confusing. Like when I think of garlic bread, I, can, I definitely get the same vibes as like Punchy. And I think for that reason, like I do respect it. Pearl is another example of a character that looks like a 90s cartoon, but like nightmare fuel in the best way possible. Pearl is a garlic bread villager. Controversially, I think I'm gonna put Raymond in the Raymond tier because Raymond is a fan favorite and Raymond is loved by many. I genuinely don't understand how the fuck Raymond got so much hype to the point where like actual money got involved. Is it because y'all find him hot? Is it because like he has two different eye colors? It was so confusing. And I feel like any longtime Animal Crossing fan was just sat there being like, what the fuck is going on? Was it just the pandemic? Was it just the fact that we were all quarantined? I'm saying we like I was involved in this, but you know, even though I wasn't involved in this, maybe I was because I'm still a part of this damn community. There was a point in the Animal Crossing community when Rosie was like number one fan favorite, I'm pretty sure. And I think it was because of the movie. She reminds me of garlic bread in the best way possible. Rudy reminds me of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is like really cute, really fun. But like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer was a menace and so is Rudy. And I feel like for that reason, I would love to love him more. But honestly, he just looks like someone that would snitch on you. And I think it's because of that red nose. I would say he's a friend. Why the fuck is your name Stinky? Why do you have underwear on your face? Like what is going on with Stinky and his backstory? I just don't get it. But that confusion honestly makes me love Stinky a lot. And for that reason, he's in garlic bread tier. Tabby is top 10 villagers for me. She reminds me of Cat Bus from Totoro and I think that's the main reason why I love her so much. I don't give a fuck if she's ugly. She's ugly to you. She's adorable to me. Sometimes I feel like Nintendo just purposely made ugly villagers so that we can bully them because bullying does bring joy to some of us. It's true. I just can't get myself to hate on Tabby. If you get on Tabby's good side, she will do nothing but good for you. And like, she's more than a friend. She's a bestie. Tangy is a fruity queen. And like, she is the epitome of garlic bread, despite her being a tangerine. Tom is garlic bread to me too, because he's done so much for me. Who the fuck is Ava? A go off. Becky with the good hair, honestly, she kind of does serve looks on the daily. And I think like, she's a messy bitch in the right way. And I feel like she would be a good friend to me. Benedict kind of like, is adorable. But like, at the same time, I feel like he uses his cuteness to get away with being a criminal. But like, he's cute, I guess. I don't know. He's there, but like, I respect him. Brofina will always have the tea. This might be surprising, but I'm putting her in the top tier because Brofina is my girl. Brofina is my icon. Egbert reminds me of scrambled eggs and I love scrambled eggs. I feel like Egbert is a friend. I feel like Goose's only purpose in life is to be a dumbass. His goal is to bring out the worst in every single person. I don't understand his existence. I don't understand the purpose of his life. I hope you find happiness in your life. I hope you just realize how itchy you are and how much of a disgrace you are to this damn society. Go to fucking jail and rot and take Ken with you. Ken is a snitch. Ken is a snake. Ken is a manipulator. The two of you deserve to rot in jail together. Knox lives in 2020, but for some reason, he thinks he's a knight. I feel like Knox is definitely a little too much into his character to the point where he's a little racist. I think I'm just gonna have to put him in the give me your rights tier. Bucky is definitely cool. She is definitely a friend. She has the tea, she spills it for you. She is someone you can trust. There's only four cows. Her name is Naomi and she looks like that. Her name is Naomi and she has lips for eyes. People think that she's done me dirty in the past. She hasn't done me dirty ever. She just looks like that. I don't think she deserves rights. That shade of pink specifically, she reminds me of a lug. I always run into her on villager hunts. And like for that reason, she just pisses me off. Patty's another one that I always run into on villager hunts for no fucking reason. But Patty's fun. I feel like Patty is a friend. Tipper is like the most boring design ever. She's literally just a cow. Sometimes I forget about her and I think that says a lot about Tipper's existence to me. This might be another controversial opinion. I kinda like Barold. Certain ugly villagers are just so ugly to the point where they're cute. I feel like Barold can be a friend, you know? Like he was just so bullied throughout his life that like he doesn't have the energy to be mean to you. Like if you're just nice to him, he's gonna be nice back. You know, I like blue. I like bears. Blue bear is a blue bear named blue bear. She's safely going into the garlic bread tier. It's it's just specifically the positions of her eyebrows. Like she looks like someone who just punches people for fun. She would look like Cat Valentine, but have the personality of Sam Puckett. I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. Honestly, she's a friend. Chester is adorable. They've managed to take a basic design and make him cute. And for that reason, like 
like he's in the friend tier. He's a friend. Judy, on the other hand, she is the one who looks cute. And then you realize, no, she's actually planning world domination. She is evil. She can go to jail. June is cute. She exists. Congrats, Cody. You exist as well. But I literally have nothing else to say. Maple is a fan favorite and very, very popular. And a lot of people love Maple. But like, honestly, she just exists. I don't really see anything else in her aside from the fact that she's popular. So I guess like she's just going in the work fan favorite tier. Like there's not really much I can say other than that. Marty on the other hand is definitely a friend. We love our butthole king. Marty is a bottom. Murphy is the epitome of a villager who was made just to fill up space. Olive is the epitome of Christian girl Autumn set on a cloudy day in New York City. And I respect that and I love her. She is definitely a friend. Pecco is cute, Pecco is fun. She does just exist, but she exists correctly. Same with Poncho. Pudge wishes he was Stitches, but he's not. He's trying to attempt identity theft, but clearly he failed. He needs to go to jail. He's a self-absorbed little shit. Stitches is a fan favorite, but he is a fan favorite for the right reasons. And for that reason, he is definitely a friend. If you take mustard and inject caffeine into it, that's what Tammy is. She exists. Vlad is a friend. But bam is a villager. This is controversial, but I'm putting Bo in the Raymond tier. Many people love Bo. I personally don't see it. He's great, but it's like... I feel like Chelsea exists very loudly and I feel like she wants it to be known that she is the main character, even though she isn't. Now, Deidre is someone you can trust and she, once again, is more than a friend. She is garlic bread. Diana is that moment. Diana is a witch. Garlic bread as well. Do we ship these two? Because personally, I kind of do. Eric, very popular once again. I feel like he's very interesting to look at, but as soon as he opens his mouth, it's like, that's it. Like, that's all he serves. He serves looks. Fauna is another villager that is very, very popular, very, very beloved by many. Fauna is honestly going in the Raymond tier for me because again, it's just like, she's cute. She's fun. She's cool. I've had her. Like, she just doesn't do it for me either. She's not someone who I'm like gonna waste my time spending like thousands of tickets to look for. Fuchsia deserves the hype. Look at this bitch. She is iconic. She is for the gays. She is gay. Garlic bread tier for me. Oh God, Lopez. Why? He's a fun design. He's definitely the type of dude who like says guy liner instead of eyeliner. He has to emphasize the fact that he's a man and that pisses me off. And for that reason, he doesn't deserve rights. I will never forgive you for what you did on my birthday. Shino is Grimes in the Animal Crossing world for sure. She would definitely produce Art Angels, the album. And you know what? I respect it. She would introduce KK Slider to Hyperpop. And for that reason, she is great. I do think that of all the 2.0 villagers, Shino is a great design villager. She's definitely the best one objectively and she deserves to be popular. She's not a Valentina, she's a Peppermint. Zell looks like an inverted Oreo. And I love Oreos, so he's definitely a friend. B really is a villager that's just there. She is definitely someone who places 18th in a 24 person competition. Benjamin, I don't care that he's ugly. He is adorable to me. Benjamin is a friend. Biscuit has been my one of my favorite villagers ever since I was a child. He's great, he's cool, he's cute, he's fun, he's iconic, he's amazing. He looks like a sock puppet in all the right ways. He looks like a stuffed animal. Like he is just top tier villager. He is literally subscribed to Angry Coconut. I'm gonna make my top five list so everybody knows through and through who my top five villagers are. Biscuit is one of them. Bones is adorable, again, basic design, but he's a basic design to done right. And like, he's just so cute. He is a garlic bread. And while we're at it, Benjamin is definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. There is the whole Tumblr thing where people say that Butch is a he, him, lesbian. And for that reason, I love it. Butch is a friend. Cherry is somebody who will fight your parents if they don't accept you for being gay. She will run up to your house, break down your door and punch your dad in the face. You're going in the garlic bread tier, babes. Cookie herself is an iconic, but that Tumblr post makes her iconic. And for that reason, I'm putting her in the friend tier. Daisy, on the other hand, a little boring, even though she's cute. I don't know. She's kind of just there for me. Fret is like the epitome of a father who coaches a soccer team. That's cute, I guess. Some of them are hot. Fret's not hot, but like Fret is a friend, but like he's kind of boring though. So it's like, I don't know. Goldie is just the epitome of Yas. She's a friend. Shout out to Goldie. We love you, Goldie. Lucky is a fan favorite that many people adore. And I adore too, personally, but it's just like, I don't know, like he's cool, but I'm going to put him in the work fan favorite tier. And I don't know why. Maybe it's just the fact that I haven't had him. So it's like, I, I can't really like give a proper opinion.
opinion on him. His design is great, but it's just like, he doesn't really do it for me, which is weird because he's literally a mummy. Y'all can fight me in the comments. I don't care. I just think he smells like droll. She is the Emma Chamberlain of the Animal Crossing community. And for that reason, honestly, go off. She is a friend. I think Marcel gets too much hate and it's like, I understand it, but at the same time, I don't think he deserves it. He's just there, but he's not doing anything, you know? Like, I don't think he's problematic, but he is just there at the end of the day. Every time I see him, I'm just like, okay, I've seen weirder shit. So like, honestly, that face does nothing for me. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. She possesses all of them. And she also possesses star quality. Portia is definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. And for that reason, I love her. Shep kind of reminds me of like Harvey from the game, but like Harvey's long distance cousin. So honestly, he's a friend. Walker's cute. Walker's fun. He's done nothing wrong to me. So he's also a friend. He does exist. And honestly, I don't feel anything when I look at him, but like go off, I guess. You know what? I'm going to change this to they exist, but go off. That's the tier name now because I do like them. They just don't do anything for me. We have our top five villagers all the way up here. I need to add another tier down here so that y'all will understand our bottom five. And we already missed one. Olaf is definitely a bottom five. And you know who else is a bottom five villager? This fucking bitch. She is the most self selfish, disrespectful bitch I've ever met. This girl did me so dirty back in New Leaf and now I have her again in my New Horizons town because I want to see if she can redeem herself, if she learned from her past mistakes. So far she hasn't though, for, so for that reason, fuck you Dina, you are one of the worst villagers to ever exist. I'm so sorry if you're a Dina stan, actually no I'm not. Derwin is the cause of all the world's problems. Okay look, I know I'm from Toronto, but like I don't like Drake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I do like Drake. His eyebrows are so like 2016 in the right way. And it's like, yes, Weckles is great. I don't really have anything else to say about that. I don't know. There are just some villagers that I like because I like them. What can I say? Loria is a shit talking little shithead. This fucking girl scours for all the fucking tea about you so that she can use it against you. And honestly, she doesn't deserve rights. Yeah, he wears a diaper. Who cares? Let him wear a diaper if he needs it or if he wants to. Why do you care? Why are you judging him? He is a friend. The fact that she's literally a tomato, she probably smells musty, but like, honestly, good for her. Actually, no, she's in the garlic bread tier just because tomato sauce really goes well with garlic bread. What can I say? Mayel is a Karen, so she's in jail. I really do trust Mallory. She's like the grocery store manager. Like, again, I get Dina from Superstore vibes from her. She is a friend. Miranda gives me vibes of like 2000s girl. That made no sense. Molly is another fan favorite who kind of just has a basic design. She doesn't really serve much other than that, but honestly, that's enough to get her through life. She is definitely a friend. Pate smells like pate. Let's just say that much. Pom Pom will always have your back. If your ex-boyfriend is trying to come steal your dog, she will drop kick that man off your balcony. She's definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. I don't fucking understand the point of Quilson. This man has five viral pandemics brewing in that fucking scalp. He is something that a child would cough up when they're diagnosed with pneumonia. If you are a Quilson stand, reevaluate your life, please. This man needs to rot in jail. He's already rotting. Scoot is cute. He is definitely a friend. I feel like he is like the life of the party. He's at the party doing all the dumb shit. The class clown that becomes the valedictorian. Weber kind of looks like me. Just because he looks like me, he's in the garlic bread tier. Amelia is beautiful. Amelia is the moment. She is the auntie that'll take you in if your parents ever kick you out. Like, I respect it. And she is definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. Smash, I mean, Apollo's next, and Apollo is another one who is definitely, definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. Oh, how convenient that I put them all there. Hmm. Avery looks like he's seen some shit, head empty himbo, and I like that for him. Honestly, yeah, garlic bread tier. Buzz is a 90s gym coach who, like, gives off homophobic vibes until you find out that he's actually gay. He is going in a friend tier, which is surprising. Cottage core girlies, you need to have Celia on your island. Like she literally looks like she grows mushrooms. Or no, she looks like she forages mushrooms. She just exists and lives, and lives her life the way she needs to. I'm sorry, I have to say it. I keep forgetting that he's in the game. Who the fuck is Frank? I like Keaton. I had him on my island. 
but like he thinks he's the shit, but he's just plain old shit. What can I say? The ultimate himbo. And him and Pom Pom are soulmates. I think it's all clear. I feel like Pom Pom is definitely the brains of the relationship, whereas Pierce just supplies the garlic bread. Yasified Apollo, even though she's a girl, smash. Everything I said about Knox applies to Sterling, but I feel like Sterling isn't homophobic or racist. So for that reason, he's going a tier above into the they exist and I don't care tier. Axel is pretty cute, but goddamn, as somebody with TMJ problems who constantly clenches his jaw, please seek your fucking dentist right now. Big Top is so fucking cute. What can I say other than the fact that he's so adorable and he's another superhero villager. Like he just reminds me of Thor. Not in like the hurly burly way, in like the I support lesbians kind of way. He's definitely a friend. Great, go off. We love you. Sid is the epitome of the punk movement. He deserves more love. Like, oh my god. He is definitely a friend to me. Dizzy is cute. He just looks like a bath toy. For that reason, like he's so cute. Like I just want to squeeze him. I feel like he would squeak if you squeeze him. Not in pain, but like in pleasure. Dizzy is a friend. We have Ellie. She's kind of just there for me, but like go off. She still slays. Her hairstyle is literally just a bang. Where's the rest of her hair? They really did try to make her a main character in Happy Home Paradise, but they flop. For that reason, I don't care about you, Eloise. She is the baddest bitch. Second to another villager that we'll get to from the movie. And like Margie is just the epitome of like hard work and getting that damn cherry pie. She's definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. Fuck you, Opal. I was eight years old and this bitch was talking down to me. She's literally the OG enemy. She's the first bitch that tried it. And for that reason, she's bottom five. I'm sorry. He looks really easy to draw. That's Paulo. That's literally Paulo. He looks like a rough draft. Tia has all the tea in the world. She spills the tea and is nothing but correct. Go off. And while we're at it, Tucker as well. Yes. I actually do love Camera Frog though, because like one thing about frogs, a lot of them love to camouflage. So the fact that they took that ability that a lot of frogs have and they just made a frog that's made out of camouflage. Genius, iconic, amazing. Garlic bread. He is cranky, but he is like the derpiest villager in the game. That's so funny to me. Custo and Croak are literally Morpico from the Galar region, from Pokemon Generation 8. But Custo is a villager that I respect. He looks like he just loves to cook and for that reason go off. Croak is a fucking menace. God damn, this man is so angry all the time for no reason. Like this man doesn't care about anything. He is a bottom tier villager. Why does she have to look at me like that? I really just want to like her. No one. Diva. I just don't care what she has to say to me. Drift is next. Drift's cute. Go off. I think Frobert being a little derpy though kind of bumps him up a tier though. Gigi is the epitome of going off, is the epitome of serving, is the epitome of charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. She is that girl. She definitely serves at the Met Gala. She definitely devours at the Oscars red carpet. Like she is definitely subscribed to Angry Coconut. Henry is another fan favorite villager that like I get but it's like okay work fan favorite Huck was literally my campsite villager on my first ever island and I always forget about that and I forget about that for a good reason because Huck is a nobody boring Jambet is the Jennifer Coolidge of the Animal Crossing world she is definitely a friend and if you think otherwise I don't care Jeremiah is my favorite frog villager he's so close to being top five but he just isn't but I do love Jeremiah garlic bread tier for me and while we're at it Lily is my fucking bitch and she is also a friend. Oh God, we have Prince. Hmm, go off, I guess. I mean, like Prince is cool. Puddles, I honestly forgot about her. I don't really care about her anymore. Doctors are great. Doctors are important to the world. He's definitely like the family doctor. He's not in it for the money. He's in it for the passion. And for that reason, we respect him. Go off, Rattles. Raybot is another villager that came close to top five. He, he really was like one of my favorite villagers at one point, but honestly, ever since New Horizons, like he's kind of just, someone that I forget about. I'm still gonna put him in the garlic bread tier because he is still great. Tad, go off. Wart Jr. on the other hand, when he was younger, he was nothing but trouble. But I feel like now that he's older and he's matured, I feel like he's definitely wisened up and learned from his mistakes. And I feel like nowadays he's kind of just there. He's kind of just trying to get through the rest of his life with no problems. So for that reason, I no longer care about Ward Jr.'s existence. He can exist all he wants. Just don't fucking bother me. Okay, we're moving on to the goats, but why the fuck is Bruce here? Bruce? 
is a blue villager. So for that reason, I automatically love him. He's great. He's fun. He's cool. Billy is like my vibe. He's like if my aesthetic was a person. He's a friend. I have to rank them together. You cannot separate them. They are meant to be together. I love them. They're both an iconic duo. They both deserve to just go off in life and be together. He is who Mr. Clean hates. He just looks like a stinky armpit. Kid, I see a lot of people hyping him up, but it's just like, he looks like a shrug. Like, he just kind of exists to me. I love Pashmina. She is definitely a friend. Sure, despite the cute appearance, has committed many, many crimes. So for that reason, he does need to be in jail. It's like the same reason as Judy. Like he's cute, but like, it's just a friend. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a mask. Velma, like go off. I don't know. Al, wow. You know, he is literally like a sleep paralysis demon. But like, I want to be friends with him at the same time. Go off. Boone, I think, is the best gorilla villager. I love his design. He's definitely a friend. Boyd. Jesus fucking Christ. I can't believe someone would look like that. Caesar is another villager from the movie. And just like Cyrano, no point. Why was he in the movie? What was his purpose in the movie? Aside from just being there to waste time. Caesar does look like a waste of time. Hans, I think, got too much hate. He's literally a Yeti. And it's like, that's so cool. I feel like he's just misunderstood. I feel like if I ever met up with him again, we would be friends. Louis gets too much hate. And it's like, why? He's done nothing to me. So like, he could just exist and go off. He would is another one that I feel like he's just so like tough. He gives me like himbo energy. He can exist and go off all he wants. Rilla gets too much hate when she isn't even that ugly. She can exist and go off all she wants. She doesn't bother me and she shouldn't bother you. Rocket is another superhero villager. She's definitely the one in the group that like needs rescuing more than she does actual rescuing. And for that reason, I feel like she is kind of the burden of the group, but like she still serves and she's still funny enough that they just don't want to fire her. She probably drives the spaceship. Go off. Violet looks like the sound that a bongo makes. So yeah. Let's just get one thing straight. Out of all the hamsters, there's only one hamster that I like, and that is Clay. Automatically going up to the garlic bread tier. Apple doesn't know when to shut up. She knows she's being loud and annoying, but she's still doing it because she's just so desperate for the attention. Flurry will punch you in the face. She is the girl in your class that bites. And for that reason, she needs to go to fucking jail. This man needs to fucking go to jail for the tens of thousands of fucking crimes that he's already committed. Hamlet is cute and all right. Like he can go off, I guess. I have nothing else to say about him. Hamfrey, he's just there. Marlo also needs to fucking go to jail because this man will shoot you and feel no remorse. Everybody keeps saying that they think I hate him because he's ugly. He could be the most adorable villager in the entire world. Just like Dina, he did me dirty in the past. And that leads us to Soleil. Soleil can shut the fuck up. The hippos are villagers. And honestly, they all just kind of exist. Every single one of them, they just exist. But Rocco is definitely my favorite of the hippos, but I don't like him enough. So I'm putting him in the day exist, but go off tier. If there's one thing that Bubbles will do, she will do you dirty. And for that reason, doesn't deserve rights. Harry, I feel like is misunderstood. I feel like Harry is the way he is because of depression. He does exist. He just needs help can go to jail just because he looks like that. Annalise is all right, like go off. She's just there. Buck, I don't give a fuck about him. Cleor, okay. Clyde is cute enough to like the point where he exists and like he can just do what he wants. I don't care. Colton looks like that kid from the Life is Strange spinoff game, but he's a grown man. I don't care. I can't think of anything to say about him. So honestly, like he's just there for me. Elmer is definitely a friend. I mean, what can I say? He's a fucking unicorn. Are you kidding me? This man is immediately going up into the top tier. He is definitely one of my subscribers and y'all know it. And while we're at it, Poppy as well. We love Poppy. Shout out to Poppy Chulo. Like, okay. Renee is like someone that like I personally think everybody needs to meet at one point in their life. I feel like she just packs so much wisdom. If you ever need help with something, Renee is the one that you have to go to. And for that reason, she's definitely in the garlic bread tier. Savannah's pretty. Go off. Um, Victoria, sure. Our motherfucking star girl. Yes. Go off. Like, go off. Jesus Christ, Astrid, that is your baby. Why are you painting her face? She just wants to take a nap. No, I'm just gonna carry on. 
because I have nothing else to say about her. Kit and Caboodle serve nothing, just like Marcy. Matilda, on the other hand, I would say out of all the kangaroos, she's probably my favorite one. She's cute, she's fun, she's great. Oh, we have Rooney though. He as well can simply go off and Walt can join them up there because Walt's cool too. Sylvia, on the other hand, Alice is cute, Alice is pretty, Alice is fun. But what else does she bring to the table? Nothing. Canberra, um, I feel like Eugene would be your friend just to get something out of you. Like he would definitely be your friend if he found out that like you can do something to benefit him. I don't care about him. Faith is definitely a human wearing a koala suit. I don't know who started that theory, but I honestly agree with you. And for that reason, I don't trust her. Gonzo is in garlic bread tier. Shout out to Gonzo and I ship him with Dobie. He's just like a Facebook acquaintance. Like you just befriend him on Facebook so yeah, you can have more friends. Melba? is someone who looks innocent but she will cuss you off and i respect her for that and i do deeply miss her she is definitely going in the garlic bread tier ozzy is cute what else does he bring to the table nothing sydney our poor lost girl she's adorable she's fun i just feel like she's very like confused in life and i relate to that so for that reason i feel like the two of us if we ever reunite we would be friends yucky the uncle that just doesn't know when to stop. And for that reason, I don't care about him. I'm sorry, but Elvis literally looks like he would bite me in like an aggressive way. Like he would fight you. And then like, it would just get to the point where like he just starts biting you for no reason. Let's just put him in the friend tier. Jesus fucking Christ, Leopold. Nobody cares that your hair is green. Leopold needs to understand that everybody has their own shit to deal with and nobody gives a fuck about what he's doing. Lionel just represents all us girlies that always have tummy aches and shits our pants whenever we need to. So for that reason, he's definitely somebody who deserves to go off in life. Mott's Fruit Station is a librarian and librarians to me are background NPCs for the most part. Go off. No offense to any librarians. Sure. Rory is somebody who just doesn't know anything. I don't know what it is about Delhi. He's like a stuffed animal that you just want to put on display. The monkey villagers in general, a lot of them just kind of get a lot of hate for no reason. What's up with that? Delhi's a friend. We trust him. This bitch is serving. She knows how to make a statement. She is definitely a friend. He just looks like the friendly guy in school. Like he's not the most popular one, but he's also not a loser. He's just kind of there who like everybody likes. I do get validatorian energy from him though. So honestly, like, yeah, go off flip. We love it for you. I feel like Monty is like a school staff, like either maybe like he works in the cafeteria or maybe he's like a custodian who just someone who's nice. Like, you know, those ones we, yeah. Like, you know, that's the energy I get from him. And for that reason, honestly, Monty, go off. I would definitely say that she's a friend. Garlic bread tear to me. I feel like Shari gets too much hate and it's time that that stops. Fuck you, Jacksepticeye, for that. Simon says, I don't care. Cammy looks like an Arthur character. Tian Shang is great. I feel like he's the life of the party. I feel like he knows how to party. I feel like if he was a party planner, he would definitely be a successful one at that. Go off. When it comes to the rat villagers, there are only two rat villagers that are great rod and petrie petrie is a stem major girl boss we stand women in stem so for that reason she is automatically garlic bread tier the fact that she's literally a lab rat whoever designed that i'm your biggest fan rod just is cute and fun and great i feel like rod and i would be great friends what can i say anna Cotty is so fucking desperate for validation that this bitch will throw anybody under the bus go to fucking jail bella just smells like red bull constantly and i don't care about her other than that bettina is literally the epitome of filler queen i don't like her as much as the other two rats that i do like but Bree's definitely a cooler villager she's not the main character but she would play seventh in the competition broccolo reminds me of harry from Harry and his bucket full of dinosaurs and that kid was so fucking annoying just like Broccolo. Candy? Oh my god, this girl. I don't care about you. Dora's fine. Dora's fun. I don't know. She just doesn't do it for me though. That's all I have to say. Greta is another one. Limburg is so caught up in his way of living life that he just doesn't want to like listen to anybody else. Lindbergh's way is the only way according to Lindbergh, but Lindbergh doesn't realize how much of an idiot he is. He did not deserve rights. Moose is literally an armpit and for that reason he needs to go to jail. Do you know that episode where she wanted to pierce her ears but her parents were like no because your ears are going to turn green? That's what would have happened to DW if she pierced her ears. Like that's exactly what it is. Rizzo, shut the fuck up. No one cares about you. Samson all right but again i just there's just something about the mice villagers like rats are so cute in real life how did they fumble the bag so hard and last but not least we have this rotting stinky 
annoying thing. He is the final villager from the bottom five. You think that a mouse made out of cheese would be so camp and so genius. And although I will give them credit for that, because it is a great design. His name is Chatter. You had to fucking name him Chad. Not only is he ugly, I just know he smells rank, okay? He is literally made out of cheese. He, in a hot sunny day, anybody who currently has Chatter, now that it's summertime, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, your island smells musty. Next up, we have the Octopi Villager. All four of them are great. Cephalobot is a filler king, but like filler king done right. He's like the filler king that like goes on to win the All-Star season. Marina is the messiest girl alive but we still love her for that so we respect her. Octavian I feel like is definitely someone who you hate at first but then you realize that he just has good intentions and he just wants what's best for you. And Zucker is an eternal being. He was sent down to this existence to heal everybody and everything and cause world peace. And for that reason, I think he subscribed to Angry Coconut. Branch is like Regina George at the end of the movie when she learns from her mistakes and becomes a better person, a glowed up version of Regina George. And for that reason, garlic bread tier. I don't hate Cranston. It's just when you compare him to everybody else, I don't think he brings anything. Go off. Flora is a flamingo. And for that reason alone, like. Like she's already iconic. We love. She is going in the friend tier. She's cool. She's fun. I don't know. She's a friend. Julia is my favorite ostrich villager. Julia is a girl in the game, but peacocks who are green and blue and all pretty and stuff are actually male in real life. Trans icon. And we stand. If you're not for the dolls, fuck off. We love Julia. Yes. Feels fine, I guess. Like I do like him. I know a lot of people don't like him. You know, if we were like in school together and like we were walking across the hallways, like I'd wave at him. Him, but I wouldn't say hi. You know, like he just kind of exists. Phoebe, on the other hand, is a phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like she's definitely the girl that like gets bullied, but like at the same time, she's also popular. I don't know why I make so many references to high school when I talk about these villagers. I'm 22. Phoebe would be my friend. Queenie is not a queen. She's a jester. Rio is definitely somebody who people invite when they want to have a good time. If you're hanging out with her, she will make sure it's a night to remember. She does give me the same energy as Phoebe though. So let's put them together in the friend tier. Cynthia from Rugrats. That's all I have to say about her. I love all the robot villagers. Let's just get that out of the way. And I think Sprocket's the last one. He's definitely my least favorite though of the robot villagers. So for that reason, I'm going to put him in the they exist but go off tier. Y'all have seen her when she's like shocked, right? Those red eyes. This girl is hiding a secret. Zootopia spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen Zootopia. She is the villain from that movie. The innocent secretary who turns out to be evil. Go off, Aurora. Boomer is the epitome of an old man who tries so hard to get me to do things his way, but I am not gonna listen to you because you're fucking annoying. Your wife doesn't even love you, Boomer. Nintendo definitely made him a cute villager. The cuteness is to disguise the fact that he's a menace. Very similar vibes to Aurora, but Aurora at least has her shit together. Chapwick tries to commit crimes, but he goes into them without a plan. He will end up in jail. Cube, cool. Flo's great. Gwen and Frigga are definitely related. I'm gonna say that much. They both definitely have Oscars under their belt though. Let's just say that much. I'm gonna rank them together. They're both queens that exist and go off and slay. Hopper had zero lines in the movie, but he had more of an impact than Caesar and the other one. Hopper is definitely a cool villager in my opinion, by the way. I'm putting him in the garlic bread tier. I feel like he's definitely underrated. Is it Iggly or Iggy? Iggy. Either way, I don't care about him. What the fuck does he bring? to the table other than just being ugly. The only redeeming factor to Puck is that in New Horizons, that helmet is removable and he can sometimes just walk around with a bald head. Go off. Roald is a fan fave. I don't know. I can get behind it and I understand why he's popular and I personally do see it. I don't have any other reasons to like actually like him. I think it's the fact that he's a jock. They should have made him a lazy and I feel like I would have liked him a lot more. Or maybe even a cranky. Brinkle, ice queen, frosty bitch in like the best way possible, not in the worst way. Go off. Tex is, um, the fact that he has an ombre and like he has a gradient makes him a lot more adorable than he needs to be. He can go off, but like he doesn't really bring anything else to the table. I don't know. He gives me like a Teletoons character vibe. Agnes is my bestie. Agnes is my bitch. I thought she was trying to ruin my life when in reality, she was just trying to protect me. She's easily the best pig villager. So she is going to my subscribers tier. Disney villain vibes in the worst way. Like he's the Disney villain that you just want to see perish. So he's going 
to jail. Chops is another one who is just a villain that I would love to see perish and suffer. Cobb gives me comedic evil scientist vibes, Dr. Doofenshmirtz. So for that reason, I do like him. I think he deserves to go off in life. Curly, curly, curly. He looks all cute and innocent, but he knows what to say to piss you off. And for that reason, he doesn't deserve rights. Gal is fun. And for that reason, I respect it. I love her. She can exist and go off and slay. Hugh is my bestie from El New. Hugh is iconic. I love him so much. He's definitely in the garlic bread tier. Kevin gives me Caillou vibes in the best way possible. He reminds me of the nostalgia. So for that reason, he can go off. Lucy can exist and slay. Maggie is like so adorable. She's literally Maggie and the ferocious beast combined in one character with a bit of Hamilton too. Oh my god because she's literally a pig. She is definitely a friend. Panchetti, shut the fuck up. Peggy, sure. I love the Bob. He can go to jail. Spork, is basically the epitome of a paper bag. He can exist. I think we all know where I'm gonna put this one. Bon Bon, who I feel like is supposed to be based off a of chocolate bunny. I love chocolate, so go off. Bunny, she's one that a lot of people like. If she's a fan favorite, I'm putting her in the work fan favorite tier. If she's not a fan favorite, then I'm putting her in the exist but go off tier. Carmen, on the other hand, is a villager that I do care about. I am putting her in garlic bread tier because I think Carmen is probably my favorite rabbit villager. Grammy award winning artists. They are the future of music. Friend tier because I feel like they are celebrities of the Animal Crossing universe but they are still humble. They are still nice. Claude is a villager who I always forget about so it's pretty safe to say he's going in that tier. I had her on my island and the entire time I was afraid of her. Aside from that she's a great design and I invited her to my island for a reason because Coco I think is definitely like just a fun design. Design. The fact that she's literally designed after a gyroid genius. And for that reason, she's in the friend tier. Cole is cool. I have nothing else to say, so go off. Doc is the epitome of the sound. I don't care. Dottie also gives me secretary turned evil vibes. So, you know, once again, for that reason, go off. Gabby is a lesbian farmer. She's a friend. Gaston? is a great villager. He is Mira's father who will do anything he can in his power to protect her. I feel like I would be friends with Gaston because Gaston would do anything he can to protect me. We have the superhero villagers in the game, but I feel like Mira is also a superhero that just does her own thing and she doesn't need the rest of them. Genji's great. I love Genji. He is a friend. Hopkins, I don't trust him. He needs to go to jail. O'Hare, I honestly don't have anything to say about him. Pippi is he. I am putting her in this tier because she can go off. I love Ruby. I feel like people think that she's scary or weird in some way. No, she's not. She's adorable. Shut up. She is definitely a friend. Sasha, he reminds me of those character, those bunny thingies from Fairly Odd Parents that are made out of meat, but he's cute. Just because he's cute though, like I'm gonna put him up there in the go off tier. If he tries it, I'm gonna step on him. Being named after the Metal Gear Solid character, great but having a derpy face while being named after that character whoever thought of that i'm your biggest fan the fact that she literally wears fishnets 24 7 and has her makeup done 24 7 she is easily one of the best snooty villagers in the game if you think she's ugly you have no taste toby i would say is probably my favorite of the sanrio characters and he comes with like the best items out of all the sanrio villagers i'm not gonna put him in the top tier because i hate the fact that you he is a villager that's behind a money wall so the most i can do to him is garlic bread. Azealia is great. Azealia is iconic. Garlic bread. Hornsby is cute and adorable. I don't trust him. He's hiding something. Just because he's blue, I'm going to put him in the go off tier. Meringue is another fruity legend. She's literally a meringue who's not in the refrigerator. So I just know for a fact that she smells. I love dessert. So she can go off all she pleases. Renee, on the other hand, Miss Yo Yo Yo. I have nothing to say about her. And Rhonda, I have nothing to say about her as well. I feel like Spike is kind of underrated. Go off, Spike. You're cool. I literally forgot about him so i think it's pretty safe to say i know where he's going barbara's cute barbara's fun cashmere she's cool she's fun carlos is another one that i just don't like he is so close to being in the bottom five because he pissed me off so much in new league just as much as those other five bitches did in past games he looks like beef he just looks like fried oil dom is a fucking menace i don't give a fuck that he is adorable he is so 
annoying. I'm putting him in the Raymond tier because he is a fan fave. I don't see it. And honestly, I don't like him. That face alone is just so. <laughs> Etoile is definitely a Sanrio villager that everybody loves, myself included. Friend tier because she is a friend. Eunice, go off. Frida, she's literally Katy Perry at the Met Gala. She's the campiest villager in this game. You cannot deny it. She's a friend. Muffy, our gothic sheep lesbian icon. Um, I'm putting her in my subscriber tier. It's just taking a very long time to get up there. It's been a while since we talked about that very, very top tier, but we finally made it to another villager that makes it to the top five. And that is my fucking gay sheep clown icon, Pietro. Pietro really does remind me of Cam Tucker from Modern Family. And the last time I said that, so many people got offended by it. And I literally have no idea why. Della ella ola, clap clap clap, say yes, chica chico, chica chica cha. She's my sister's favorite villager, and I honestly understand why. She's definitely in the garlic bread tier. She kind of looks like a kneecap, but like she's still cute. Timbra is an auntie and I love aunties if you can't tell. So is definitely going all the way up here into the garlic bread tier. Y'all remember those rat looking thingies from the dog island that are literally flat as paper. That's who Vesta reminds me of. You remind me of that. And you also just remind me of like glow sticks for some reason. And I love glow sticks. Wendy is my favorite cheap villager that isn't Pietro. So I'm automatically putting her in the garlic bread tier. Actually, no, she's going in the subscribers tier. Yeah, Willow is also going up top because Willow Willow, I think is such a great design. She honestly does give me like Willow Pill energy as well. Agent S is the final superhero villager. I feel like even though she's number two, she probably is the team captain. She is definitely the shit which is why she's number two. Go off. Blair, she's cute, but what else does she bring to the table? Callie as well. What does she bring to the table aside from being cute? Hot Cheeto Squirrel, Miss Caroline, like she's cool, but else I don't get it. Filbert is a fan favorite and I personally do like Filbert a lot, just as much as everybody else. Remember on my other island where I kicked him out and then completely forgot that I kicked him out? I think that says a lot about how I feel towards Filbert. I'm not sorry. We love our unibrow queen. Yes, we love our alien queen. The fact that she literally glows in the dark is like enough reason why she deserves to be a friend. Marshall was the original Raymond, but not to that extent. I think Marshall is like a great villager all in all. He's Regina George done right. He's definitely a bitch, but he is that bitch. I think Marshall really is like one of the popular villagers that I personally like. He reminds me of a club penguin Puffle. Mint is Melanie Martinez in Animal Crossing. She would definitely produce Cry Baby the album. And for that reason, I definitely think she's a friend. I honestly don't have anything to say about her. Peanut, on the other hand, um, she's cute, I guess. Most of the squirrel villagers honestly are just kind of there for me. Pecan is definitely a menace in the best way possible. I think she's definitely a friend. I've had Poppy in a previous game. She was great. She was cute. She was fun. She's definitely a friend too. Oh my God. Ricky, calm the fuck down. Learn to take deep breaths. Why is this man just constantly angry? I don't understand. I literally have nothing else to say. I don't care about you. Sally is a villager. Sheldon is a villager. Static is so cool. The fact that he's literally purple, he is going in my subscribers tier. Silvana, she looks like when you add creamer to a coffee, but you don't stir it. So for that reason, I am going to put her in the go off tier. Tasha is everything Blair wishes she was. Tasha is definitely inspired by a skunk. And honestly, I love skunks. I think skunks are just misunderstood. They're not spraying you because they want to ruin your life. They're spraying you because they're afraid. And I feel like Tasha is exactly like like that. So she's definitely going in the garlic bread tier. The best tiger villager out of all of them. Bangle is so adorable. Oh my God. Whoever designed Bangle, like y'all just got it with her. She's going straight up into the friend tier. Bianca is a mean girl. Bianca is a bully. Bianca loves to talk shit. I don't care about her, but she is pretty. So for that reason, I'm putting her up here. I want her to rot. When I'm at my lowest point, that's when Claudia appears to just make me go even lower. I don't have anything to say about this man. Is there anybody out there whose favorite villager is Leonardo? I am so curious. Do you actually exist? Rolf is Bianca's older brother, who is a lot more calm and collected. He's just kind of living his own life. He's not really trying to like get into anybody's way. And go off, you can exist. Tony the Tiger looking ass fucking dude. What's his name? Rowan. There's only one Tony the Tiger in our lives. And for that reason, you're going to jail for identity theft. Tybalt can come with you. I did not plan this, but um, 
We saved the best for last. If it's not obvious, the wolf villagers are my favorite villagers because fun fact about me, I love wolves. Audie is amazing. Audie is iconic. Audie is manic pixie dream girl who has her life together, who is just nothing but perfection. She is a slay queen. Yes, yes, yes. She is in the garlic bread tier. This ain't it. But Chief is a great design. He does give me frat boy energy, but I feel like he's the frat boy that like is good. He's the one frat guy that's like actually nice and like came from like a good family and has parents who love him. He's definitely a friend. Doby, my everything. And if it is not clear, he is definitely a top five villager. I love Doby. I just love Doby. Fang is another one. He is a top five villager as well, because if it's not obvious, I really, really like wolves. Um, Next up, we have Freya. Freya is so pretty, but she's going to get knocked down a peg because she's also another villager that I just always run into on villager hunts. But like, she's pretty. So like, she's definitely a friend because I'm only friends with pretty people. Kyle is like the epitome of a Mountain Dew guy and he's a skater. He's punk rock. He's great but he is in the garlic bread tier anyways, the bootleg version of Wolfgang. Bootleg in the sense that Wolfgang is from a high-end store. Lobo is the affordable version of the high-end product that's made for the general public, a friend. Sky is so head empty and ditzy. Like she is just like such a bimbo. Like she just looks like there's nothing going on in those eyes. She says the dumbest shit possible, but it makes sense. She's definitely in the garlic bread tier. Vivian is another auntie who she is Kimmy Couture correct. So she's definitely a friend. Smat, I mean, Whitney is iconic. Whitney is amazing. Whitney is the best character from the movie. They did her correctly. She is definitely, definitely subscribed to my YouTube channel because she has taste. I swear to God, I did not plan this. We are ending this off with my favorite villager of all time. We might as well bring him up there all the way to the top. Bam. He's literally my birthday twin first and foremost, which is just iconic. He's blue. He's a wolf. He was my favorite villager as a kid. I spent 10 years looking for this damn villager and then on Windle on my YouTube channel, my first ever villager hunt. He was the first villager I ever found. Wolfgang is forever and always my favorite villager. He's great. He's fun. He's hot. Holy shit. That's it. That's the list. The official angry coconut ranking. Every single villager in Animal Crossing New Horizons has been ranked. If your favorite villager is on the lower end of this list and you're bothered that I don't like your favorite villager, I don't care.